D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So they dropped this stuff for Wicked, the first look of Ariana Grande from the movie. And I wanted to go over all the stuff that they had because they had some first looks. Um, David, uh, John M. Choi had dropped some stuff on Instagram, uh, the first look, which I want to look at those real quick. Um, but I want to go through Ariana Grande and just the set photos that we've seen. We're going to go over some of the singing, some of the music and stuff like that. Uh, spoilers for anybody who doesn't want to wa uh, watch any of this stuff. Shut it off now and go away. But I just want to say that first things I uh, love Wicked. Uh, I, I've seen it twice live. Um, and so I, I which and it's still relatively new, but I do love Wicked. I've read the, all the books. Um, the books are okay. The books aren't that great. Not as good as the uh, the 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 show. But I wanted to talk about this because I love it so much. Now I am worried that John M. Chu is directing. I do not think he's a talented director. I do not like him as a director. I wish he was not doing this movie. He did in the Heights, which wasn't too bad. It wasn't my favorite movie, um, but it or musical movie, but it wasn't too bad. It was just um, yeah. I just I just don't like John M. Chu. I just don't think he's that 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 great of a director. Um, but, uh, yeah, let me, this article comes from people and we have a picture of Glinda right there. I'm going to pull it up in just a second. We're going to talk about some things and everything, but let me read this a little bit and then we'll talk about all the stuff. So it says Ariana Grande is going all out as Glinda in Wicked. On Monday, Grande 29 was spotted filming scenes for the upcoming film adaptation of the hit Broadway musical on Wicked's United Kingdom set for the first time. The singer and actress was seen wearing a bright pink gown with a matching uh, scepter in hand and tiara and her head is as she stood on her head and as she stood on top of what appeared to be a giant golden and pink carriage or thrown during filming. Now, I think what this is is the bubble that she arrives on. Um, if you watch the 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 show, there's like a big bubble that comes down, and she kind of sits there. I think that's what this is. Um, sorry, I didn't get a picture of it. I should have. I got should have got a picture of it. Anyways, uh, the singer, the singer and actress, has seen wearing a bright. Uh, okay, sorry, I already read that. Grande was filming Wicked's opening number, No One Warns the Wicked, uh, which we'll take a look at that, all of that in just a second. In the moments captured in the photographs, according to the Daily Mail, which uh, cited eyewitnesses to the production's uh, filming in a village nearby East uh, Buckingham, Buckinghamshire in the United in the UK, northwest of London. Additional photos from the set published uh, by the outlet Monday show an entire small village constructed for Wicked set in the middle of a large field with the show's iconic yellow brick road uh, winding its way through the set and a number of extras on hand to film scenes for the upcoming movie, which let's take a look at that real quick. I want to talk about her costume in detail, but let's just take a look at this real quick. So what they're talking about with the film set, first off, is this one right here. And this is the Munchkin Village uh, right here. This is the, the, the it's not finished here, but this is them building it. Um, I think it looks okay. I mean, it kind of looks like grungy and stuff, but it looks okay. It's fine. And it's not that big a deal. So here's another one of it. Um, this one is, is more, is done. Uh, the set is done. Uh, let me move this over down a little bit. So it's done and everything. I think that, I think this looks better. This looks better. I, I'm not, I'm not complaining about this. It's not my favorite, but it looks better. Then there's this one. Oh, that's not the one I wanted to show you guys. Uh, yeah, those are those two. So this is the finished product. Sorry, you guys. I don't have the yellow brick road thing. You can kind of see it right here. Um, but, you know, it looks good. I mean, so, I mean, it looks fine. It's fine. Munchkin Village is not really, like, over. Well, it is in part two, not in part one. I think you only get the first part in there, like, and then the backstory of her. All right. So here it says, uh, the thank you next singers site on Wicked UK set Monday comes after director Adam uh, Chu, gosh, John M. Chu shared two stills from the upcoming two-part film adaptation of the hit Broadway musical Sunday on Instagram. So here's the one of the other things. It's wider. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this up. So here's the one of Glinda. 
And I, this one, I mean, like we see her, but this is obviously her growing up right at the end of part one, or at least I think it is. I think this is her going up right at the end of part one to see Glinda off when she does her big number. And this is so dark. You can't see nothing. Like you can see your big pink dress, but you're like, you're just like, huh, what's going on here? I can't see anything. So then let's take a look at the one of uh, real quick of Alphaba. So this is of Alphaba uh, closer up. And again, you can't really see anything. Like, is this her nose right here or her ear? I think this is her ear. So she, her back is to us. And, is, and you can't really see right here. This is her broom. Um, it's just like, th this is a good first look. I get it why he did these, but I'm just like, you can't really see anything. I mean, like, and we haven't seen, it's not like we haven't seen this before. All right, let me read the rest of this and then we're going to go over the, the stuff. Okay, so you weren't told the whole story. What happens when you veer off the yellow brick road? First look of the Wicked uh, movie currently in production in Oz. Chew caption the post. Never miss a story. Uh, no, that's not what we want to read. Sorry, sorry, sorry. One photo feature a Revo as the green skin Alphaba mounting a broom far from the camera while wearing a black cloak and a pink, uh, a pointy hat. And the second shows Grande and her pink costume ascending a long flight of stairs. It's been wonderful making magic with you, Arivo wrote in, in the comments of the post, adding several green heart emojis in her comment. We'll talk about Cynthia Arivo in just a second. Universal's film adaptation of the twenty, uh, the Tony-winning Broadway musical, which is based on the 1995 novel *Wicked: The Life and Times of the Wicked Witch of the West* by Gregory Maguire. It's okay, that book. It's just okay. It's not that great. Was first announced uh, all the way back in 2016. Yeah, it's had some problems. Uh, Ariana Grande, uh, Arivo and Grande were cast as the lead characters back in November 2021. I did a video on that. You can check out all my videos and stuff. I'll leave it in the iCard section. Um. During a March 2023 appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Jeff Goldblum confirmed his role as the wizard, uh, teasing that Grande and Arivo are very good in their roles. Along with Grande and Arivo and Goldblum, Chu, 43 tagged other cast members, uh, Michelle Yeoh, who will be playing Madame uh, Morble. Uh, Wicked's cast also features Jonathan Bailey as Fierro, Ethan Slater as Bach. Uh, Marissa Board as Narcissa Rose, Bowen Yang as uh, Fenny. I don't know who that is. Who is that? Um, uh, Brown James. Okay, yeah, all these people. Yay, yay, yay for them. So part one will release November 27, 2024. So we still got a year. And I hope we get more stuff like this. All right, let's take a look at her costume, you guys. So this is her costume, uh, blown, uh, you know, bigger, so you guys can see it and stuff. So this is her. Now, this is a take on the pink outfit from the original 1939 movie. I did not have Glinda. I don't have a picture of that. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't get one. But here is a picture of Glinda from the musical. Now, this is Kristen Chenoweth. Um, she looks great here. And they did blue here. So I think that they didn't go with the blue because they're trying to capture the, the movie, you know, from Wizard of Oz. Like, they're all like, hey, you could maybe intertwine these kind of thing. I, I mean, you know, maybe you could. I don't know. But okay, so what do I think about this? I think that uh, Ariana Grande looks great in terms of she's beautiful. She can, I know she can sing. She's going to be, she's singing wise. That's not the issue. She's, she, but in terms of this though, um, it kind of looks a little David's bridal to me in all honesty. I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Like I'm all like, mm, I'm like, it's fine. Uh, but you know, and I do have hopes for this movie. I'm not trying to crap all over this movie. Um, if this is the worst to come, then I'll be fine. Like this is, this is fine. Like, it's not bad. It's just, I don't know. When I first saw it, I was like, uh, eh. I mean, kind of, it looks just like a, you know, a dress you buy for like, you know, your prom or something. But anyways, it did, but she looks great. She looks great. Um, and a small piece of me is kind of maybe happy. They went with the, the pink instead of the blue. I don't know. I have to think about it. Okay, let's now take a look at these videos. Oh, no, wait, hold on, real quick. I wanted to go over the shiz set. So here is the shiz. I think this is shiz, which is the, I, I'm saying shiz, uh, because that's what it's called. Uh, but this is the set. I think that I, I, I this might be Emerald, the Emerald City. I'm not quite sure. I will say it's the Emerald City, uh, but here's, here's this set. Maybe it's the Emerald City. It's either shiz or the Emerald City. So, uh, because I'm thinking it's the Emerald City because of this, this right here, but then at the same, and these little, these little towers, hold on, let me pull that up. 
no, no, that's it. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Give me two seconds. So unprepared. Um, the, a, the Okay, so I think it might be the Emerald City because of these little green towers here. But at the same time, I'm all like, this could be Shiz, which is their school that they go to to learn magic. Um, so, and that's where they meet in college and school and everything. So we'll see. All right, now let's take a look at these videos. Okay. So I want to pull up the first one. Give me two seconds. So we're going to take a look at this first one right here, you guys. And this is of her singing um, Wicked. Or her, her singing uh, No One Warns the Wicked when she first shows up at the thing. All right, let's check this out. See, I don't think she's been... We'll see. And she's got a great voice. That's really great. Okay. So I think that that, that looks pretty good right there. I think that I don't think she's doing the as good as Kristen Chenoweth did back in the day. I think Kristen Chenoweth did such a great job, but you know, it's fine what she did there. Not complaining. All right, now let's take a look at them singing uh No One Words the Wicked. Uh give it a second because there's it says spoilers and stuff like that. But uh, okay, so here's the video. So yeah, I think, and there she is on the set. I don't know if she's talking. It looks like she's talking, but. Oh no, no, it, they're looking at the drone. And there she is. She's doing all right. Like, I don't, I don't know. I feel bad saying bad crap about Ariana Grande. I have nothing against her. I just really like Kristen Chenoweth from the original. She does a great job. This looks great. I take it back. It looks, it looks great. It looks great. It really does. I'm excited for it. Like, I, I think that this looks really something special. We got like 10 more seconds, hold on. So I think this set looks great. I think that Ariana Grande is singing is great. All right, we're gonna, no, it's not gonna All right. So I think that Ariana Grande singing is great. I think she's doing a great job. I think that she looks great. All right, now real quick, just to talk about some of the, the controversies. All right, so people are saying about how she's too skinny. Ariana Grande is too skinny and she like needs to eat a cheeseburger and everything. And then she made a comment that that her being this skinny is her original size. Um, Back in the day when she did, what was that, Victorious or whatever she did, that uh, she was just, that was, you know, she'd gain weight or whatnot. And me, I go, y'all need to mind your own business. She can do whatever she wants. Her body, her choice. Let her do whatever she wants. She wants to to eat herself to death. Y'all wouldn't be all like this if she was, you know, body positive. Y'all wouldn't be, you're all not body positive if they're fat. They're a big fat, so you're all like, body positivity. She can do what she wants. Yes, queen, go get it, girl. Now she's super skinny and y'all are like, oh, eat a cheeseburger. You're unhealthy. And it's like, get out of here with your big bag of nonsense. Now, in terms of Cynthia Revo, Revo there is controversy because she said some not so nice things about black Americans. And some people remember that crap. And I was all like, man, oh, girl, you better calm it down. You know what I'm saying? Um, but so there might be some a little bit backlash of, on that, you know, like in terms of people not seeing it because they don't like uh, her saying those things. But in terms of this goes, I think that, again, Ariana Grande, I, I think she looks great. And she's singing. It's great. I, I hope that we get one of Cynthia Revo on set. I don't know if we'll get one. Um, from We won't get one from this set because at this point it's the beginning and she's like dead. The Wicked Witch is dead, you know, from Wizard of Oz and everything. But let's check it out. You know, we'll see how it goes. 
But tell me, what do you guys think about this? Do you think this looks great? Do you think this looks stupid? You know, um, you know, do you love Wicked? Have you seen it in real life? What's your favorite part? What's your favorite song and everything? Tell me what you guys think. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you mention it. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on my next video. No one mourns the Wicked. Have a good day. Bye.